Hey, this is Robert with Forever Fit. So I, I just had a question that popped up and I noticed that a lot of people actually do, of course, struggle with muscle ups and they're looking for different ways to get them to progress in that movement. Um, one of the greatest tools that you can actually use is a TRX, okay? So with the TRX, you can actually get your body into a position to where you can work the muscles in the same exact way, but you can progressively overload your body so that you can start off with you know, less of a strength level, less of an ability to actually transition from that more pull-up motion to the dip, the dip press-up motion. All right. So, with the TRX, here's how you go about it. So, so if you lean back here, you start off in this position here. Okay. Now, from here, as I come up, I'm pulling the body up, and then I'm extending the arms up and out. All right. Now, as you get better at it, you can come a little bit closer to the axis point and then work on that transition, okay? So as I come closer, if you notice, pulling more of my body up, okay? Get more of that transitional, transitional strength that needs to be generated, okay? So remember, when you're first starting off, you're further back, further away from your axis point, okay? Um, and then as you get better at it, you'll come closer and closer and closer, all right? Once you're able to master this, pretty much right underneath the axis point, at that point, that's probably when you would be able to do it on a bar, okay? Um, of course, you also can use um, you also can use bands in order to assist you with the muscle up. Um, I'm going to show you that version right now, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take a trip up to the front here, up to Big Red, and I'll show you how can you how you can use bands just in case you don't have a TRX. So. So we've got our band here, okay? Band here set up. Best way to do it is actually have it across, across the bars, okay? So you can set it up right up onto your safeties here, bring it across just like so. All right, so. So from here, the band is gonna help you out with the pull-up portion, and then from there, you can work the transition, okay? It's gonna generate a little bit of momentum, but of course, as you come up, you're gonna get less and less help, all right? So from here, we're dropping down. Nope. <laughs> Let's see if I can set this up higher. <laughs> Nicely done. This is very hard. <laughs> so, excellent tip two. You can set these guys up higher. Give you more help, all right? Or you can even set up two bands. Remember, half of it is just getting the motion, okay? Once you train the motion, you can get stronger. You can get better at it. This might be too easy, we'll quickly find out. <clears throat> so we're coming down, working the push-up. Right, so, so here, literally just get this transition from here, <clears throat> in that transition from here, up to pushing. That's one of the toughest things. All right, so the more that you can train that, the better, okay? It's all about getting you from here to here. You want to start off with the TRX like we showed you earlier. From there, then we can actually go with the bar because of course the bar is not going to give. And then you can alter this from where you need the help at the most, okay? Starting off higher, you can use two bands, you can use one band, it's totally up to you. I'm weighing in at 260 pounds right now, so I'm rocking the two bands, okay? But once again, I haven't trained this motion in about two years. So the more you train it, the better you're going to get at it. All right, guys, hope that helped you out. Go ahead and post your comments below. Let me know what you think. Try it out.